Another action-packed edition of, of sports this morning has just kicked off of channels, television, sports center in Lagos, Nigeria. To our viewers in Benin, Abuja, and to you, wherever you are in the world watching us, welcome aboard the Sporting Flight. My name is Austin Okunakwa. So much to talk about today. Action-packed flood of sports. But let's begin this way. You also see a picture on your screen. That guy is Aruna Quadri. The Nigerian has moved from world number 237 to number 30 in just nine months. Incredible feat. He's making Nigeria proud. He's rising every day. And right here at Channels Television, we're willing to give Arna Quadri and Table Tennis all the love and support that he needs to actually someday get to world number one. Just believe it's sports anything can happen so top of tennis gets our attention today on the program i won't let the cat out of the bag but to be speaking to two big fishes in the world of table tennis and in nigeria right here on sports this morning let's continue the show football now what's going on nff drama series 31 wow who's been working with us on this journey we thought all is now done there is peace in nigerian football but no as the Appeals Committee continue to meet today. Um, Matthew Pinnick, um, all his counsel, are expected to uh, show up today and give their own side of the story. Remember, Mr. Aiki Gokwe has questioned the September 30th elections and he says, for us to practice fair play and justice, that election should be cancelled. NFL Drama Series 31 will keep you um, going as regards um, anything that comes out of that one. Now let's leave the boardroom politics and all of the crisis and talk about the Super Eagles of Nigeria. Win or win encounter for the Super Eagles when they take on uh, Congo Brazzaville in Point Nea on Saturday. Guess what? The big boss, Coach Stephen Keshi, says victory is non-negotiable. That it's a win or win for Nigeria. And that's what Nigeria's world, that's what the players are saying. We we'll also listen to them this morning on the program. We've been Football now to tennis. Yes, Novak Djokovic is looking good every day and he continues to retain his fine form. The defender Stanislas Vavrinka at the ATP World Tour Finals in the, at the O2 Arena in London. And um, should he win his next match, it will end this year as world number one. Flawless Djokovic right there at the ATP World Tour Finals. I'm excited this morning because we're going to celebrate a Nigerian that has done so well, not just for himself, but for the country and the continent of Africa. But quickly, let's touch base with the Super Eagles of Nigeria. How are they getting ready? Can they beat Congo to keep hopes alive? Tough one for the Super Eagles. But then the coaches and the players say it's a win or win game that if Congo can come to Calabar and beat Nigeria, then they should go to Point Nair and beat Congo. Let's balance things up. Let's listen to Coach Timmy Keshi and some members of the Super Eagles team and listen to what they're saying ahead of that crucial, very important game against Congo Brazzaville. And I'll come back. I'll get you know what we're talking about today on the program. Sports this morning on Channels Television. To stay. In every game we play, even if it's victory or not, we'll try to um, get the best out of it and uh, um, go with the players. Uh, discuss things with the players, which we've done, and uh, we're trying to put the better problem is that we have less time to practice. You know, we only have like what two, two training sections before the game. Uh, mostly with the boys that are playing in Europe, plays on grass, but now they have to play artificial stuff. But uh, we'll fight it. We'll go there and fight it. But we're working on everything. Yeah, they came here to take three points, so uh, we two are going to Congo to take three points because now we know they are on pressure. Because playing at home is not easy with the fans, everything. You have to play very better to, to, to support them, but they will be on, on pressure on the day of the game. Definitely, the commitment level is going to be extra, more than 110%, because we know that these two games are very, very important and it's a must-win games, and we, we're going to do our best to make sure that we come out uh, with the six points that is necessary. The spirit is, is high, and then we know how important these, these two games are to us, and we'll, we'll do everything to, to win the two games. 
So that's it, uh, members of the Super Eagles speaking ahead of that crucial game against uh, Congo Brazzaville on Saturday in Point. Now they are fired up. They say they will win that one. It's victory or victory for Nigeria when uh, they take on Congo on Saturday. So that's it. You listen to the much talked about player, Ike Chuku Uche. He's right there in camp. He's fired up. He says the relationship with Coach Stephen Keshi is good. The players are fired up. And he says the, the objective is to win the next two games. That's what's coming from the Super Eagles. They're getting ready. And in fact, they will leave this evening for um, Congo. Let's wish them all the best. It is unthinkable for Nigeria not to win that match on Saturday. Don't want to talk about it. Now, wherever you are in the world watching us, welcome you to Sports This Morning on Channel Television. You're about to have the best 25 minutes of your time watching television because we're going to talk about all the details to stay focused, to achieve victory, and to sustain that development that one has achieved. Arnold Quadri is a Nigerian, he's the best table tennis player in Africa, and of course, is the world number 30. I told you at the start of the show that he has risen from about um, 240 something in the world to world number 30 in just nine months. And it's a testament to what the Nigeria Table Tennis Federation has been doing to develop the sport in the country. Wherever you're watching us, want to be part of this show as we take a look at the development of table tennis in Nigeria. On Twitter, we're channels underscore sports. And on Facebook, we're channels hyphen sports. If you have questions for um, our guests in the studio, I don't want to let the cat out of the bag now, but you get to meet them. Just send us your questions, comments, and suggestions as regards table tennis in Nigeria and how Aruna Quadri, not just Quadri, all the upcoming players can actually rise and shine and keep table tennis and bring back the glory days of table tennis in the country. Welcome aboard. Quickly, let me let you know that we have the best table tennis player in Africa, Aruna Quadri, this morning on the program. Quadri, it's good to have you on sports this morning. Thank you very much. My pleasure to be here. He's the best table tennis player in the world and a one man that came in and said, we need to develop table tennis. We need to go back to the basics. We need to go back to the schools. We will take it back to the streets. And it's all right, Oshodi. He is the president of the Nigeria Table Tennis Federation. He's also uh, with us on the program. Good to have you with us. Thank you very much. Mm. The last time... Um, He's also the commissioner of sports in Lagos. The last time he came, he came as president of, um, the, Niger of the Nigeria Table Tennis Federation. He returns with a success story. And that's what we're talking about this morning on the program. Quadri, the year 2014, it has been a phenomenal year for you. What is responsible? Uh, I think a, a lot of things are responsible for it. Uh, let me just give thanks to God, mm. first of all. And secondly, you know, your plan always work with success, and in the same way, success goes with plan. Mm. And before you start planning, you, you need to have some sponsors. After you get sponsors, you need to start working harder. You have to do, uh, be disciplined, determined, and stay focused. Mm. Initially, in the, in the beginning of the year, uh, the objective was to prepare for common games by playing some tournaments yeah. according to Federation uh, President and the board members. Uh, we started from Qatar and Kuwait. Immediately after Qatar and Kuwait, it, it was uh, German Open the next tournament. Mm. And uh, the first three non to uh, tournament uh, didn't go well because I didn't uh, perform up to expectation, yeah. but I, I gave my 110 bags. Mm. Uh, but uh, after that three tournament, I was also given some other opportunities because uh, if uh, I was not being given a, a lot of opportunities, I think the recovered success and victories couldn't have come in. Mm. Uh, but I must just give thanks to the man beside me. He's a coach. <laughs> yeah. He's a father. He knows everything about the game. Mm. He has been the one behind my success. Mm. And uh, I think uh, I also deserve some of the victories mm. Mm. because uh, after I got the encouragement from him, I, I told myself that uh, this is an opportunity that a lot of players are looking forward to, yeah. and I, mu I must not lose this opportunity just like that. Because mm. of that, I, ke uh, I kept working hard until this moment. You should, you should. Number thirty. Um, I don't know. I'll get back to you from w world number two hundred thirty-seven to number thirty 
in nine months. You know, I mean, I'm sure you saw the video, and that was Arna Quadri and taking on Zanjik. Zanjik actually went on to win the IWTF uh, World Cup in Germany, but he saw some good challenge from the Nigerian. Let me speak to um, the president of the NTTF. We're seeing Aaron Accord, we're talking about him, fantastic. Uh, we also brought out the team league this year. What are we doing to bring more quadris? Well, that's, that's the essence of the team league. That's the essence of all the tournaments we're doing. Getting new players, the best players at home now get a chance to be exposed internationally. Um, the program for next year is out already. Uh, we hope to be taking eight players, new players, to the um, World Tour. They start off in Qatar, Kuwait again in February, come back for the Lagos Open in March. Yeah. So there's no other way. We need to expose them, play against the best in the world. From what we've seen with Haruna, we have the talent here in Nigeria, you know, a lot of talented youngsters. Mm. And um, so hopefully a lot more to come through. Yeah. 30 in the world, um, mm. you know, people, people still don't get the picture. In mm. table tennis terms, that's like Nigeria winning the World Cup. Mm. Uh, in football, there's there's just no other way to lose to Zhang GK mm. in the quarterfinals of mm. the World Cup. Probably the best tournament player ever. Mm -hmm. um, says a lot about where where we are in table tennis now. Fantastic, uh, my director and producer. I'll give you time to cue that tape um, between Aaron Quadri and um, um, Zhang GK um, of China. We'll go on a break. Let you see that video. Listen to what the commentator said at the end of the match. And I'll come back and talk to Quadri. Stay with us. avoid this. Boy. And I was just Boy. Do so many kinds of different spins with that. Typical Zhang Zika waiting for the last moment to score this match. Nonetheless, he did it. Incredible performance by Kadri Aruna. He's getting standing ovations here. What a tournament. Maybe the tournament of his life here. Putting up a great fight against the world champion. And I'm happy to see him again in the future. Certainly someone to keep an eye on.